hey guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you've never been here before thanks for watching so myself and my family are going on a vacation down to florida Woo and we're going for 10 days so i thought it would be helpful and interesting to see what i am packing for my son my son is almost nine months old now so i did my research i asked a lot of people so hopefully this is like a good video <laughs> if you guys aren't already i would love it if you subscribe to my channel i do do mostly beauty videos but a lot of mommy related videos as well so if you guys want to check out the rest of my mommy related videos i will have them linked in the drop down bar below but without further ado, let's just get into it and see what I have in here, shall we? Okay guys, so I've just opened the suitcase. There are two sides. Um, one side is covered with a zipper and I'm going to be going into the first side. So first thing you'll see is a big blanket. So this is what we'll have our son sleep with at night. It might be too warm, but just nice to have just in case the air conditioning gets a little cold or you know. Then you really see all the things inside. <laughs> I'm just going to start at one corner and work myself through. So first thing you'll see is a towel this one is from the gap just bringing one for our trip since we are bringing laundry detergent we will be reusing that then also we're bringing one crib sheet because the place we're staying at has a playpen and I'm hoping that the crib sheet will fit the playpen this smells of home so hopefully this will help him sleep a little bit better in a strange environment this crib sheet I think is from pottery burn they have such cute crib bedding okay so now we're really getting into the good stuff I'm gonna start at this corner here this is his swim stuff that we're packing we have one hat it is a bucket hat it has sun protection in it although I don't wouldn't rely on that but it's really cute it's a reversible bucket hat got this from Dominion or Joe Fresh and also we have the matching swim trunks here super cute also from Joe Fresh we have another two pairs of swim trunks these are from the Gap and these are from Carter's I do believe you'll see why I'm packing so many swim trunks in a second also bringing another hat this hat is really sweet it is koala baby or koala kids it's just like a front bib it's got like the neck drape I don't really know what you call it but it goes over his ears and his neck so his neck and ears don't get exposed to the sun and it's got the front bib as well this also offers some sun protection not I again I, I wouldn't rely on that but the material it's made out of is like that sporty dry sweat wicking material and I bet if you dunked this in some water and put this on his head this would help keep him nice and cool during the very hot sunny day so I really like this one and then we're also bringing two sort of like swim cover things for him since he ha does have a couple pairs of swim trunks um, we have him this swim top it says I need a vacation I thought that was really cute got this from the gap and then this one, which is so cute, this was a gift from his auntie and uncle. It has little lobsters on it, but this is like a swimsuit, and this is from Joe Fresh as well. It's really nice. Next, we are bringing one pair of sunglasses. I actually had a really hard time finding a pair of sunglasses for a baby, but these are from Carter's. His grandmother actually picked these up. Um, I tried them on him. He thought they were more of a chew toy than anything, so it'll be interesting to see if he actually keeps these on. Then we have a pair of sandals here, super cute. These are from Gap. They really remind me of our Burks. Just really sweet. We are bringing four pairs of socks. I do think that he'll probably mostly be in sandals, but for when we're in the house and the air conditioning is on, it's probably gonna be a little bit cooler. So we're gonna have something on his feet. Also for the plane ride back when he is wearing his shoes, we want a pair of socks, so four pairs of socks. Now getting into onesies and shirts. So he has two t-shirts that we're packing. This one says nice and cool and it's made of really nice light, lightweight material. This is from Zara Baby. If you haven't shopped at Zara Baby, you should because their clothes are so sweet for babies. So we have one of these. I have another shirt. This one's from Carter's. I love the color, the little boats, nice and nautical for where we're going. Then I won't pick all these apart, but we are bringing one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight onesies. Not really sure why it is the number eight in particular, but I have eight onesies packed, so that's what we're bringing. Then if we are going out in the night to a restaurant or in the evening, I should say, somewhere that we want to put him in some nicer clothes, I have a couple of cute outfits for the evening, something that is probably gonna be nice and cool. So the first thing, outfit we have here is this little like dress shirt play suit. This is is from Cherokee. I think this was got at Sears. Not really sure this was a gift, but I don't know if you can tell, but on the detail there are these cute little ships and I love the color. I find this color blue looks really sweet on my son. Also packing a dress shirt and matching dress pants just in case the evening is a little bit cooler. These are from the children's place. And then there is this one. This is like little overalls outfit and this is from the children's place as well. Then moving on to the back section. So we are bringing pajamas. I mostly try to bring um, footless pajamas, but there are a couple of footies in there just in case it is a cooler night with air conditioning on, as I said. So we are bringing, I'm not gonna pick all these apart like I said, but we are bringing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pairs of pajamas. Oh, I forgot, also bringing some pants. So the outfit that he's going in, he is wearing a pair of jeans. Those jeans are counted and I am just bringing one pair of jogging pants and then he only owns one pair of actual shorts. <laughs> Aren't these sweet? But that is why I packed so many swim trunks because I thought that they could double for regular shorts, but I'm sure once I'm down there, I will find some shorts for him to wear. Then washcloths, seven, eight washcloths. Eight must be a lucky number because that's just what I've been packing. Next you are seeing the munchkin um this is like a white noise machine and also a projector and a night light we have a fan at our house and we've never tried him with an actual sound machine but a friend of mine just recently picked up one of these and she said that it works like a charm so it was nice and small and compact so i thought that going on the trip would be a nice way to try it out because obviously we can't bring our fan so this i thought was really handy it has a bunch of different projector light functions and it has a bunch of different sounds it has just like a white noise sound which is probably what we're gonna use it has a timer or you can just leave it on all night if you want and a little night light if you have to go in in the middle of the night and change him and what odds I thought that this was really great buy it was really affordable as well I will leave the link to the where we bought this in the drop down bar below if you guys are curious and want to check it out also we have a first aid kit here I'm not gonna take everything out and explain what's in it but we just basically have body wash lotion thermometer, brush, nasal aspirator, yada yada, all that good stuff. Here is a little pump for the pool floaty that we are bringing for him. I, I wouldn't normally bring a pool floaty for him, but we have one of the Swim Ava swing inflatable rings and we use it in our bathtub for him. So he's familiar with it already and he really loves it. So apparently you can use it in a pool as well, obviously with supervision and in the pool with him, but we deflated it and we are bringing the pump. I do want to look for a floaty when we're down there with him. So I think that this pump might work for that as well, rather than blowing it up because I find I get a little lightheaded but anyways, we're bringing this pump and it's nice and tiny too. In this Ziploc baggie, just so we can haul it out and lay it in the kitchen, we have one sippy cup. Um, these are the Playtex Sipsters. They're the ones that he prefers. And then also I have a one bottle in here with one nipple. I am bringing some frozen breast milk just in case we decide to take advantage of the grandparents being there. That's just in case he has some milk. Okay guys, this one section is clear. Moving on to the next section. So in this side, I just have some of the bigger articles that we're bringing. First thing you'll see is our Tula carrier. I am bringing this because I think he's gonna really get fussy being in the stroller all the time so occasionally I'd like to be able to wear him. I really wish I had a lily baby. I love my Tula but I think it's a little bit heavy for where we're going. It might be a little bit warm but who knows it might be a cooler day or maybe on the way back if we decide we want to wear him in the airport after seeing how he is in the stroller maybe we'll bring this 
just in case, but it gives us options anyway. This is the Swimeva swim, swim ring that I was talking about. If you guys have never seen these, you have to Google it because they are freaking hilarious, okay? So you just inflate this and you literally put it around their neck and there's a little clip and they just float. Casey is so used to it now that he just swims around the bathtub in it. Like it is so funny and so freaking cute. You have to look it up. I will leave the link down below if you want to buy one of these or just even check it out and look at the videos because it is so funny and cute. And this is supposedly good until they're 18 months. So it lasts a really long time. Now you will see oodles of pampers. This all really depends on if you have space or not. We are going to Florida, so I know that if he needs diapers, I'd be able to buy diapers, but since we have a surplus of diapers and the size that he's in right now, I figured we could bring some, and also we have room. So we are bringing one pack of 34 Huggies Snug and Dry diapers. These are the ones he wears during the day. I love these. He has had significantly less blowouts since he started wearing these. Then also we have a pack of Swim Diapers Huggies Little Swimmers. I have never tried these before before, but trying them out anyway. And then we have just like 10 individual Huggies Overnights diapers just shoved in here in any space we can kind of shove it because those are the ones that we put them in during the night. Also in here we have two bibs. If you guys are using cloth bibs right now, you really have to go check these out. These are plastic, so after you use them, you can literally just take a cloth, wipe them down, and then they're good the next time. Seriously, like the cloth diapers get all stained and gross after a while, and these have little pockets. I've tried the plastic ones, like the harder plastic, where um, they're less pliable, but I didn't find that they worked as well. These are from Joe Fresh, and I think I paid like $2.50 for them, so <laughs> I am bringing these. Also, we are bringing a stroller fan. This is a Diono one. Um, I've heard lots of people talk about it, never tried it before, and not sure what it's gonna be like, but I think that this will be nice for keeping him a little bit cooler. The last thing that I have packed currently in his suitcase is an inflatable bathtub. This is the Parents' Choice Ducky one. Um, we were given this as a gift, and this is a perfect for traveling. If you are going somewhere for any amount of time and don't want to be putting your baby in the bathtub or if you have a small baby and don't want to bring the baby bathtub or put them or maybe they're too big for the sink anywho just like a bunch of reasons why this is perfect you just blow it up and put them in it and it's so cute it's just like a little ducky and they just love it so we are bringing this okay guys so there are some things that I don't have packed yet in a suitcase because we're gonna leave that until the morning but we are also bringing his monitor because it is small enough that it's easy to pack. Also the next thing we are bringing is his stuffed animal. He sleeps with a, a little stuffed bunny. It's the jelly cat stuffed bunny. They're really soft, really sweet. He sleeps with that every night so I think that if we bring that it will probably help him sleep a little bit better. Also what I have to do, I'm in fact going to do that right after I finish filming this video. We are bringing some baby detergent because we are staying in a house. We're renting a house down in Florida and it has a washing machine. Like I'm not bringing as many outfits for as long as we're going because we have a washer and dryer there so we will be doing a little bit of laundry when we're there so we need to bring some baby detergent I'll probably just bring enough for one wash and of course we are gonna be bringing his diaper bag which I am NOT including in this video because I did do a recent what's in my diaper bag video if you guys are curious I will link that up in the cards so you can go check that out and also we are bringing his stroller we're not actually bringing his car seat. We're gonna rent a car seat from the car rental place that we're going. Bringing a car seat is really heavy and it's a lot to drag so if you can rent wherever you're going it's probably gonna save you some misery. So everything that we are bringing in our diaper bag is pretty much what I have in my diaper bag always. Just putting a couple of new things in there. Just one tip, where we are flying so early in the morning, we are going to be leaving him in his sleeper because we have to drive almost two hours to get to the airport. So hopefully he will take a nap on the drive to the airport. And once we get to the airport and through security, I'll change him and feed him and then just put him in the new outfit for the day. Also gonna be bringing a high chair cover just in case because I'm really wary of germs because I've heard so many horror stories about planes and kids getting hand, foot, and mouth disease like that. I just 
that would be awful <laughs> i don't want that to happen to me so i'm bringing a high chair cover and obviously our camera and like medicine we are bringing benadryl advil and hand sanitizer all that good stuff and our passports of course don't forget your passports lastly if you haven't noticed i haven't included any milk in this video because it's in my freezer right now i'm not bringing too much milk but i am going to be bringing my breast pump so i'm going to be bringing my breast pump and breast pump parts i am going to be bringing one sterilizing bag some milk storage bags any of that breastfeeding related stuff and i think that i'm going to be bringing um just five bags of frozen breast milk we're going for 10 days so hopefully we'll be able to get away with just bringing that he is eating like regular food now he's like nine months old so i think that will be enough so because i'm bringing frozen breast milk i am bringing a cooler with some ice in it wish me luck haven't traveled with frozen breast milk before but where we are going for such a long time i just wanted to have the option just in case we wanted to have a night out or wanted to go to a theme park or something during the day also i just zipped up my suitcase but i forgot to mention i'm sure someone will mention it in the comments down below but we are also packing one pack of wipes as well in addition to what we have in his diaper bag. So that sums it up for my video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. By the time you watch this video, I will have already gone, but if you see anything here that I'm missing, I hope I'm not missing anything, but if you do see anything that I'm missing, make sure to leave a comment down below to help future moms and give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to follow me on my social media handles. I do have Twitter, Instagram. My username is akiksta89. Also, I have a blog, so I will be doing a blog post on what I am packing I will be making an actual list so if you want to download the list and kind of go by my list as a guide if you are traveling anywhere then you are more than welcome to do that I will leave my blog link in the drop down bar below and then it'll just be easy peasy so I hope this video helped you guys and if you aren't already, I would love it if you subscribe to me. I do beauty related videos, mom life, vlogs, all that good stuff. So just go ahead and subscribe. I upload weekly, so I'd love to have you join the fam and I'd love to interact with you guys. So as always, thanks for watching. Bye.